Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Ignition Sunday. I'm Pastor Rob, and this is the weekly broadcast of our children's ministry here at North Avenue Church of God. Sorry, let me get this out of the way. Welcome and good morning. It is November 14th today, and yeah, woke up yesterday, and there was snow on the ground, and I was like, No, too soon. It's too soon. I'm not ready for winter. Also been stuck in the house this week. I am uh, currently under quarantine for some, uh, you know, health things going on in the world. How many of you been quarantined more than once in the last two years? I think this is at least my third time, so I am not feeling great. So please bear with me this morning. Uh, hopefully we will enjoy our time together and we'll get through this. But uh, I don't think that I have any announcements. Christmas is coming up, obviously. We're into November. We have Thanksgiving first, so don't jump the gun. Um, we had just uh, did Trunk or Treat about two weeks ago. That was great. Thank you for everybody that came out for that. And Awana is still going on. Uh, we are doing live Awana on Wednesday evenings from 6 to 7.30. So if you are a cubby age, which is about four years old, up through actually sixth grade, because we have Club 56 also for fifth and sixth graders, come out here on Wednesdays and join us. Um, we are asking you to please wear a mask now. And it will be a good time. So we are doing everything we can do to keep that Awana this year live and in person. We did it a little differently last year, but we'd love to see you guys. We want to keep you safe. We want to teach you about Jesus and see your smiling faces on Wednesday night. All right. So we are on week number two, I think. Of our latest series. So let me. uh, It's called Grow Your Spirit by the way. Sorry. Um, Let's see if we have a point for the week. Alright. Sorry about that. I'm a little slow today. Our point for the week is. Don't just try. Train. Don't just try. Train. And I think we have a verse to go with that. Our verse this week is 1 Timothy 4.8. It says, Physical training is good, but training for godliness is much better. Can you guys say that with me? Physical training is good, but training for godliness is much better. So what does that mean? Well, in order to train, in order to grow our spirits and get stronger, we have to do things like pray and read our Bible, and hopefully come to church, and spend time with God. That's how we get stronger. If you want to, some of you guys that play sports, uh, some of you guys know that I ride bikes, and I ride in some races sometimes, and uh, I did pretty well at the start of last year, because I had trained over the winter, but this summer I got busy, and so my last race of the year I didn't do quite as well. So you have to train to stay in shape. For sports, those of you that play football and soccer or basketball, you know that you've got to to run and be in good physical shape and practice. And it's the same as we grow our spirits in God. We have to spend time reading the Bible. We have to spend time praying and talking to God. And those are very two very important things uh, that we can do to train. So spend some time in prayer. Get out your Bible and do some reading. And your spirit will grow. All right. Are you guys ready for some songs today? You want to sing? All right. Look at that beautiful scenery behind me. Let's, um, you know, because I'm, I'm sitting in front of my, my window at home, right? Any of you that have ever been to my house know that's not what it looks like out my back window. But uh, All right. Let's stretch. Okay. Let's get up. Let's push our cereal bowls back and get rid of those donuts for a minute. And we are going to sing... And hopefully you're going to dance and we're going to worship God together. I 
Lift my eyes to the heavens Where my help comes from My hope is found in you, Jesus You're my strength alone I surrender all, all, all Whoa
All right, welcome back. Hope you guys enjoyed those songs. I know I did. It's always great to sing and worship God and dance and and just uh, you know singing and and music is one of the greatest ways we can worship God. But we also worship Him uh, when we pray, when we read our Bible, when we just think about Him and talk to Him and tell others about Him. So make sure you're doing all kinds of worship this week because God loves it. All right. Well, before we go over to Connect HQ, I think that I have a joke this week for you. Let's see what I have. Okay. Joke of the week. You guys ready? Here we go. All right. Our joke of the week this week asks, what did one autumn leaf say to the other? I don't know, Pastor Rob. What did one autumn leaf say to the other? I'm falling for you. You get it? Because their leaves. Where'd I go here? Their leaves, and they're falling off the trees. And they're falling in love, and I don't know. It's a multi layer joke. Oh, you guys, bear with me. Are those what they call dad jokes or just bad jokes? It's Veggie Tales. You can never go wrong with the veggies. All right, let me find. Let me just quit. I'm gonna find the teleport button here, and I'm gonna send you guys over to join the crew at Connect HQ. Here we go. In three, two, one. Did you say what time it was going to start? It'll start when it starts, man. Hey, guys. Oh, how are you supposed to win a competition dress like that? I could ask you the same thing. You look like you're getting ready to run for a marathon. The flyers outside said it was a competition, but it didn't say what kind of competition it was. It just said it was sponsored by the Connect HQ Flex Group. Mm. Yeah, well, the Flex Group is in charge of Connect HQ Physical Fitness, so... <laughs> I am guessing that it's going to be a physical challenge. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't train for the right thing. <sighs> Mike. Oh. Oh. And tell us about your training. I trained myself to sleep standing up. I did not get very much sleep last night. But I will not let it affect my cheerful attitude. Well, you know, I'm not sure how much a cheerful attitude is going to help you today. Who's ready for a competition? We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. I'm Sean from Connect HQ's Flex Group, and I'm super pumped to have you guys here today for the Super Ultimate Flex Group Super Deluxe Challenge. We've got three rounds to go through today, each tougher than the last. I'll give you more instructions as we go, but first, do you have any questions? Why do you have a microphone? Well, this? So you guys can hear me, of course. But you're sitting right there. We can hear you just fine. All right. The first challenge today is going to test your physical strength and endurance. That's what I like to hear. I've been training for this. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> and I have it. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose. Well, with that attitude you are, have some confidence. Is everyone ready? We'll start with some burpees. Yeah, burpees. Well, they sound funny, but when you're doing them, they're, they're not funny at all. <laughs> yeah, relax. How hard could it be?
Guys. Guys, my lungs burn. Is that bad? <laughs> That's called feeling the burn. And it's why I love my job. Yeah, but is it bad? That's normal. It just means you pushed yourself and gave it your all. All three of you did a great job. But Luke is the one that takes the win this time. <laughs> Luke, how can you not be tired right now? I train my body every week to make sure it stays healthy and active. Maybe if you would have trained yourselves, you wouldn't have been this exhausted. Luke's right. Training and hard work are essential to improving yourself and staying healthy. Don't just try. Train. Don't just try. Train. Why have I heard that before? <laughs> Let's all take five. And you can watch this neat video I've picked out. It's one of my favorites. What do Bible stories have to do with exercise? More than you might think. This is a 66 pitch mixed up into one. The book's about God, who he is and what he's done. It's the Holy Bible, y'all, with God's truth packed out inside. It's a life of Christ to hide in your heart and in your mind. Old Testaments are set up for the big event. When Jesus crashed the scene with a new arrangement. It's history, his story, whose story, God's story. Story about my team loves me. Let it blow up all the cages, let this show go off. Let his word explode from this video into your life. I could live my life for a lot of other reasons. I could aim for a lot of different goals. I could do a lot of other things with my time and energy. But I've made a choice. I want to win. This life, it isn't mine at all. I'm giving it up. I'm trading it in. My energy, my time, my strength, it's not mine anymore. I've made a decision. This race is my life. Everyone else may choose to spend their time doing all kinds of other things. Watching TV, playing video games, shopping for the latest stuff, collecting the latest toys and trinkets, and then there's the whole endless online world. But not me. I used to spend time on those things, but now I consider that to be all a big waste. Those are just distractions to me now. That's time I'd rather spend becoming one with him. I've got to be disciplined. I've got to focus. I must have purpose in every step. I'm the boss of my body. I have to make it do what it should. I've got to play by the rules. I don't want to be disqualified. This isn't just practice. I want to win. I won't complain about it. I won't take time to argue with haters or listen to critics. I know I'm different from everyone else. But that's just what makes me shine. So I'm just going to get out there every single day and do what I need to do to win. Because I know that on that day, I won't let anything hold me back from reaching the goal. I'm taking off anything weighing me down. I'm getting rid of anything that slows me down. My hands may get tired, my knees may feel weak, but I feel stronger every day because I keep my eyes focused straight ahead. I've got something to look forward to at the finish line. I'm going to be proud of the choices I made. That it wasn't all for nothing. That all that hard work paid off. That everything I poured my life out for prepared me for this. At the end of this race, the ultimate prize is waiting for me. I'll meet Jesus face to face. That was a great race. Well done, son. Welcome home. Why do I feel like I've seen that before? Well, that's what it looks like when you're committed to something bigger than you are. You, know, you work hard. You ignore anything that might get in your way. You persevere to the end until you win the prize. And with Jesus, the prize is worth it. That's why I like it so much. Run to win? I love it! Speaking of winning... 
It's time for our next challenge. Follow me to the observatory. Woo! 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 For our next challenge, we won't be testing the strength of your muscles, but the strength of your brain. Wait, that doesn't sound like something that we should Each be- of you has a puzzle designed to push the limits of your brain power. All right. This is the kind of challenge I like. Is this the kind of training you do? I do this stuff at the after school program I work at. Uh, it helps me keep my mind sharp. So, yeah, I guess it is a kind of training. You will have 10 minutes. Ready, steady, go! Three, two, one, stop. Let's see how you did. Hey, Luke. Luke. Do you think he needs that that microphone? Is it even hooked up to anything? Shh. No, I didn't think so. And the winner is... There he is! Yay. You know, with all due respect, I don't see how this is fair. I thought this was going to be a physical competition. Hey, it's okay, Luke. Win or lose, we're all improving ourselves, so don't just try, train. That's what I like to hear, Mike. <laughs> enthusiasm! Yeah, enthusiasm. Everybody to the lounge! If I miss something, where's the flexi, dude? Oh, uh, hello. Who are you? That's Elaine. Chef Elaine. I've been waiting for you three. Coach Sean has volunteered you to work for me for the day, and I run a tight ship. No nonsense here. Wait, we're going to be cooking? We're going to be doing a lot of things today, so let's get started. <laughs> Well, uh, there has been a little mistake. You see, we're here for- You're here to help me, so let's get started. Okay, I'm through. I mean, I don't know why we keep doing this if all she's going to do is keep yelling at us. All right, we were supposed to be doing flex group competition, not Elaine's chores. Chef Elaine. Luke, relax. I mean, Chef Elaine knows what she's doing, and she does this every day. And if this is stressing you out, think about what she has to deal with. Well, I'm finished, okay? I had other things to do with my day. Yeah, I'm done too. Guys! Giving up already? This was the third challenge. It was a test to see how healthy your spirit is. A healthy spirit is full of patience and kindness and joy and peace. And from the looks of it, Mike is the one that had the most peace today. Wait, 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 what? Me? Uh, <laughs> Physical training is good, but training for godliness is much better. You know what that's from? 1 Timothy 4.8. Whoa, you were able to answer just like that. Yeah, I've got it memorized. Like this. 1 Timothy 4.8. 1 Timothy 4.8. Physical training is good. Physical, Physical training, training is good. good. But training for godliness is much better. But training for godliness is much better. All right. I'm sorry. I get it. 
I apologize to... Even if you were being a little bit more harsh than usual, Chef Elaine. I wasn't gonna make it easy for you, now was I? Wait. What do you mean, more than usual? Three-way tie. How are we gonna decide who the winner is, huh? Who said anything about there being a winner? Then what did we go through all that for if there wasn't going to be a winner? Luke, you're doing a super job of training yourself to be healthy and physically strong. And that's why you're the winner in challenge one. But the other two areas, mental and spiritual, you could do some more. And Darius, you did very well in the mental challenge. But I'm afraid you've used that as an excuse to let the other two areas slide. And Mike? Mike! Mike. <sighs> Put me in, coach. You recognize that training your spirit is the most important of the three areas to keep strong. But that doesn't mean you can let your mind and your body go to waste. They're all important. And that goes for all of you. Training and being healthy in one area is great, but if you don't keep all three areas well trained, physical, mental, and spiritual, you won't be in balance. It'll be harder for you to carry out God's mission in that way. If you take away that lesson, you're all winners in my book. Yay, we're all winners. This is the happiest day of my life. And the sleeping. Mike, that's not safe. Uh, you know what? You deserved it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Luke with Connect HQ, and the Bible tells us this in the book of First Timothy. First Timothy 4 8. Physical training is good. But training for godliness is much better. Hmm? Yeah, being healthy doesn't just mean exercising and eating right, even though those are important too. But you also have to train your mind and your spirit. Exercising almost never seems fun while you're in the middle of it. But with time, the results you see in the end can be a great reward. Getting closer to Jesus is the best prize there is. It's okay to be really good at something because you practice at it a lot. What's not okay is to forget about everything else because you're only focused on that one thing. Keep your body, your mind, and your spirit healthy so that God can use you in new and exciting ways. But remember, your spirit is the most important of the three. When you're training yourself for anything, remember to stay focused on the prize at the end. Otherwise, just give up when things get too hard. Don't just try, train. And good luck on any training that you take on. Because remember, Connect HQ is here to help. All right, welcome back, everybody. You guys ever been to the Mackinac Bridge? Everybody ever here been up to Mackinac City to see the bridge or St. Ignace? It's very cool. Go and bug your parents till they take you. I used to go up there almost every year and spend a few years, but... All right, I hope you guys enjoyed your time at Connect HQ, learning this month how to grow our spirits. Read your Bible, pray, spend time with God, get close to God, and train. That's super cool. Um, I want to pray with you guys. We're just about out of time, and then we will check out for the week. You bow your heads with me, please. Dear God, we just thank you and we praise you for your greatness. You are a great and wonderful God and you do do and have done so many great and wonderful things. We just thank you for the world we live in, dear God. We ask you to be with those um, that are sick now, dear God, that are afflicted with COVID, that are afflicted with cancer, that are afflicted with other things, dear God. You would just touch their bodies, heal them, be with them, Lord, and comfort them in times of need. For those that emotionally or mentally or maybe financially need help, dear God, just bless them this week. For all my friends, uh, Lord, you would help them to get their schoolwork done, to be good friends to others, and to shine your light. And we just thank you and praise you 
for all that you've given us. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys. Well, I think that a lot of you are, I know, yeah, I think a lot of you, a good number of you are at home right now doing virtual school. So hang in there with that. I know that's tough. Um, We would not be good homeschoolers at our house, I don't think. But uh, it's just different. and, And we've all done this before, I think. So, you know, um, you get to spend a little more time with whoever you hang out with during the day, and you'll be back to school before you know it. Uh, praying for all of you guys. I love you all. And on behalf of um, staff and pastors at North Avenue Church God, this is Pastor Rob. I am signing out. See ya.